Welcome to the next level. Hey everyone, this is 8 Bit Flashback, and today I'm going to show you how to add games to your Blue Mars S9000A. So we're going to start off by making sure the system is turned off, then removing the micro SD card. If you don't have a micro SD card pre installed, you want to get a micro SD card and format it to FAT32. And to plug the micro SD card into your computer, you can use this USB adapter, which is what mine came with, or you can just use a regular SD card adapter like this if you have an SD card slot on your computer. Once plugged into your computer, your computer should automatically recognize it. If it doesn't, just search under My PC and your memory card should be located there. So this unit comes pre-installed with 2000 plus games already on the SD card, located in these folders here. So we can either add games to these folders that already exist, or we can just make a new folder and add games to that. And the nice thing about this is we can name the folder whatever we want. It doesn't have to be a specific name. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder by right clicking inside the root of the folder. And the root of the folder is going to be the very first page that pops up when you pull up your SD card. And I'm going to name my folder Game Boy. Now I'm going to open up that folder I just made so I can add some Game Boy ROMs. So I already have some Game Boy games that are backed up on my computer that I can just add from my computer to this SD card. But if you don't have any Game Boy ROMs that are already on your computer, just use Google and search Game Boy ROMs and that will point you in the right direction. And the same thing goes for NES ROMs and Super Nintendo ROMs. And most of the time when you download ROMs from the internet, they're going to be in a zip folder. You're going to want to make sure it's unzipped and I'll explain that more here in a minute when we edit NES ROM. So I got four original Game Boy ROMs that are in GB format. And the Blue Mars S9000A plays Game Boy games, Game Boy Color games, Game Boy Advance games, Nintendo games, and Super Nintendo games. But mine doesn't come pre-installed with any original Game Boy games. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to add these four Game Boy games to the new folder we made on the SD card called Game Boy. So now located on the SD card inside the Game Boy folder, we have four Game Boy ROMs that are in GB format. Now I'm going to head back to the root of the SD card and we're going to add some NES games. So on my computer, I already have a couple NES games I want to add. And one of the games is in zip format, so I'm going to have to unzip that before I add it. But before I do that, I'm going to make another folder on my SD card and I'm just going to call this one NES Mario. And again, you can name that folder whatever you want. You can name it Stupid Games, Dumb Games, The Best Games, whatever you want to name it. And after making that new folder, I'm going to go ahead and add my NES games. And for the NES games to work, they need to be in a .NES format. So I got Super Mario Bros. I'm going to go ahead and add that. And I also have Super Mario Bros. 3, but that's in zip format. So I'm going to have to open that up and then extract the contents from that to the SD card. And actually, both these games I just added are already pre-installed on the SD card, but I'm just doing this for testing purposes. I also have another Nintendo game that's in Famicom Disk Format, that's FDS Format, but that will not work. It needs to be in .NES Format to work. Now I'd like to add a couple of Super Nintendo games that I have backed up on my computer. And I already have some Super Nintendo games that are pre-installed on the SD card that are located inside that SMC folder. So if I wanted to, I could just add the games here, but again, I'm just going to make another new folder for Super Nintendo. So I'm going to right click again on the root of the SD card and select new folder and I'm going to name this folder SNES. So for Super Nintendo games it accepts a couple different formats. It accepts .SFC which stands for Super Famicom and .SMC for Super Nintendo. And again the games have to be in an unzip format to work on the Blue Mars. So I'm going to select all these Super Nintendo games and drag them over to the SNES folder I just made on the SD card. So now on my SD card I got three new folders. I got that Game Boy folder, the NES Mario folder, and that SNES folder. You can also reorganize games that already exist on your SD card. For instance, inside your NES folder, you have over 1600 games that are listed alphabetically, so to search through that many games can be a pain. So what you can do is just make subfolders. For instance, I'm going to copy some Super Mario games, then make a Super Mario folder, and paste those games inside there. So that's a way you can organize your games that already exist on your SD card. Okay, I got all the games I wanted to add on the SD card. Now it's time to go turn it on and test it out. So after powering it up, I'm going to load the Game Center in the bottom left corner there. Select Games on Demand, Card Directory. Now my new folder should be located right here, and this is where I can load my new games. So we're going to test out a Super Nintendo game first, Donkey Kong. And that seems to work just fine. Now we'll test out a Game Boy game. We'll try Super Mario Land 2. And looks like it works too. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you liked that video, please click that like button. And if you want to hear more from me, please subscribe. And if you want to see more of my videos, just click any of these links.